This is the hard part. I know, baby. Y'all hear that? It's probably so much of a change since I last vlogged. I know, baby, but you're being rude right now. She's hungry and I had to get Noel up. It is 9.30 in the morning and I am trying to get, clearly get Nala's food ready. Feels so weird. I definitely missed you guys though. I haven't vlogged in so long. Up to date. And it's up to date. I'm actually making her some French toast that I got from Sam's Club. So this is what that is looking like. Let's see how she's feeling it today. She's very fun timing with it. She is eating the little go pops right now. So let's see how she does with this today. Cause she likes it some days, some days she don't really care too much. The only problem is, is that she chooses or overstuffs her mouth a lot. Chesco, she's into better balls. <laughs> she's probably forgot about the vlog life. She still haven't. Yeah, baby. She still haven't gotten down on chewing very well. She is still choking. Nonetheless, she is at this point a little over 16 months. She's still going through it, but we just gotta accept these babies at the stages they at because if we look at other people's kids and how much they advance in other areas, if you will end up driving yourself crazy. And I had a hard time trying not to do that, but I have come to turn. So right now I'm accepting that she's still learning how to eat a lot of things. Even though she's been learning to walk, she still is falling all over the place. <laughs> Even though she's been walking for darn near seven months. Actually, I have no idea why I said that. She's only been walking for about five months actually it's not even five months at this recording so yeah i was tripping don't mind me so yeah mm -hmm. you eating them baby yeah good job i usually i had ended up giving her some goldfish sticks in this little go go squeeze patches which is something i recently started doing the last video y'all seen anything about the girls uh, you see me like making her baby food and stuff like that. I still make those. Just wanted to test these out. And she seems to like them. This is the apple pineapple passion fruit. You see her? <laughs> she seems to like them and she can eat them easily. They're not even that expensive. It's $10 for like 20 something. So baby number two needs me while I'm trying to get baby number one together. So I'm probably put another thing on her plate, which I need to probably put her eating bib thing it's kind of stained because one day she eats spaghetti you know how that goes when she eats spaghetti like this spaghetti stain never comes out so let me put this on her i'm gonna grab some fruit and then i need to feed noelle because she just actually woke up <laughs> i know you're not done i know you're not done girl. but you don't have your shirt on i know she said give me my food back so outside of that, Nala is becoming a little diva, firecracker, very active. I don't know, like she's not bad or anything like that, but she's just growing into herself. And sometimes I have to wonder, I've been home with her for like six months, right? And now I'm kind of wondering if me alone could teach her what she needs to know because i'm dealing with two kids and don't get me wrong a lot of people have done it but i'm just wondering if i can personally do it 
And not only that, I'm wondering if she, she just need more entertainment. And right now, because of the coronavirus, it's kind of hard to give her the entertainment that I feel like she deserves. And I kind of feel bad that we don't have close family and friends that can help release some of the energy. So, in spite of corona and stuff like that, I've really been wanting and desiring for her. I'm looking for her fruit. I got these little cans from Sam's Club. They're the same size as the the fruit cups that you buy in the grocery store. So I just started giving her these yesterday and they're less expensive. And right now, because I'm balancing too, I have a bad habit. I'm not gonna say it's a bad habit, but at this point, I really need to be enforcing her to eat, with, not with her hands, but when one baby needs the other, she needs to eat. I just put it right on her fruit tray. I'll be able to balance more as Noelle gets older, but I just kind of deal as I can. So there is some peaches, I think. Just gonna give her that. She's looking like where her little gogur pouch is and she can have a day to watch how to feel, feed Noelle. But going back to what I was saying, I've been re feeling really bad about her not having friends or anything like that to hang out with. So a part of me been really wanting her to have a day or two a week at like a daycare. But that's so scary because kids don't know their limits. I don't know if that coronavirus checking these other kids or parents or anything like that. But I think she really needs that. And it's weird how you go from the dynamic of, oh my God, I don't want my child in daycare and this and that, to being at a place where she's at a certain age and it's like, dang, like daycare in some sort of the sense can be beneficial. Now, I do not want her to be in there full time or anything like that, but something where she can be at for a few hours or a half a day or something like that where she's getting that kid to kid interaction. Especially since I've been getting deeper into the Montessori type of school idea. Now, I'm not gonna say I have been doing heavy research because I haven't. Montessori is something that I know of because of like some kids I used to babysit and I just remember them being so self-aware, independent, well-mannered. Their decision-making skills was impeccable. I don't know. So ever since then, I was like, I want my kids to go to Montessori. But one thing about Montessori, they're expensive. So I started doing some research yesterday. And I don't think it's something serious that we're going to start doing. What's wrong? You want more? We're all done. That kills me though. Every time she you her hand and scratch her head, so of course she's going to get the food in her head. Because she was screaming. Uh, I'm trying to figure out what she wants. Sometimes she sits there if she wants something different. Sometimes she doesn't want the food that I give her. So she know how to say more. She, she know how to say all done. Sometimes when she's on the spot, she don't say it though. So let's see. Nala. All done? Are you all done? Or you want more? Maybe she's thirsty. Hi, baby. Hi. <laughs> so cute. You're so cutie. You're so cutie. I washed her hair last night. That's why her hair is a little wild, but I love it like that too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let me try to give Nala some juice. You gotta forgive me if I start talking about something and forget I'm a little rusty. And on top of that, I'm forgetful. I'm just balancing. I'm trying to talk to y'all and help the kids. It's just hard. Nala, no. You don't have to cry for everything. Here you go. So anyway, outside of that, I need to make an appointment with the OBG because there's some things going on after my cycle actually came off. That is a little concerning to me, so I have to make a doctor's appointment for that. And hopefully that goes well, but I can't make that appointment until I know when David's next day off is. So, yeah. 
What else can I update you guys on? Noelle Ellie is four and a half months. She is getting so long, so big. Pretty soon she she won't be sitting in this at all because you know she's kind of getting big for this. But she still doesn't know how to sit up. She still hates tummy time. She doesn't try. She kind of is just like Nala was, but slightly better. Slightly. She probably like, feed me. Look at her try to hold her bottle. This is one reason why I like to prop her up like this. So she could try to feed herself. Look at that. She be trying to hold the bottle. She actually prefers to hold her bottle, but she doesn't really know how to either, so. Yeah. But I don't put the rice in her milk no more. I'm probably going to start back soon. I haven't really done it much since y'all seen that video. Like, that video was like two months ago. So, I didn't really keep up with that. Because I just felt like she was too young to be eating cereal. Camera died because of the virus. Um... She hasn't had a doctor's appointment, but I think she it should be coming up soon though. But I wouldn't be surprised if she at least 16 pounds. I have no idea. Around the three month mark, we tried to do the powder formula. If you don't know, she drinks she drinks ready to feed Similac or if meal. It really doesn't matter which one. That was getting really expensive. Oh Lord, she about to pour it out. She is about to pour it out. Oh. She pour her juice all over her food. Nala, no. Child, this, this, this is the truth. This is, this is what it looks like. <laughs> but that is so expensive, it runs out so fast, and we have so much powder formula because of Nala. And we do that, so we wanted to try that. She was taking it. But she was starting to throw up a lot. And then she stopped drinking it. And then she just started to get really fussy over time. So now we're back to that. I might end up trying to do the rice again. She hates to lay down. She likes to sit up when she's up. You want to talk to mommy's friends? Let me see if I can look at some notes. While we're talking about it, I might as well fully update you guys on everything that's been going on. As far as her eating frequency, I don't think she eats a lot. I think that frequency slowed down. I haven't really been paying a bunch of attention to it. I haven't felt like I'm always giving her a bottle, so I think that definitely died down. Going to some of like the baby products and something that she was using, the Mama Roo, she did like that, but I couldn't really put her in the Mama Roo like that because of Nala. Nala still is understanding her in that sorts of the fashion, so. Um, I couldn't really use it and then even when I did use it, it felt like she was getting too big for it so fast and with it not having a little depth, it was just kind of pointless so I got rid of that as well as the Snuggle Me. She really, really did like the Snuggle Me Organic which is the Daka Tots competitor um, but again, I think she grew out of that but I do have the toddler size version of that. I don't put her in much because usually when she up, she likes to sit up, so. Mm. Also, I'm surprised that she's not really teething yet. She is drooling a lot, which makes me feel like she will be getting teeth, but she's not, which is fine. She is putting her hand in her mouth a lot, though, and that kind of can be annoying because she tries to put her whole fist in her mouth, and then she causes herself to puke. So... In that case, before I would give her the pacifier, but now she doesn't like the pacifier randomly out of nowhere. It's probably been like over two weeks since I have given her a pacifier because she won't take them anymore. She used to have dry patch right here that has gone away if you see some of her older pictures. You want more? Or oh, all done? So I can tell she screams because she's trying to tell me something and it's not necessary that she's crying. Let me deal with her and I'll come back to you.